Hello everyone, welcome to Cassiano Easy Math. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the factors and solve the equation the easy way. And so before we start, for those new to my channel, I would appreciate if you can hit the like button and subscribe for more videos. Thank you. And now let's go ahead with our solution. And so first, let's make sure that the cubic equation is in its standard form. That is ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d. Looking back to our equation, this confirms that our equation is in its standard form. So let's go ahead with the first step. And since our leading coefficient is not 1, but 5, so all we have to do is, first we have to divide the whole equation by 5. And so we have 5x cubed divided by 5, that is x cubed minus 4 over 5, that is 4 fifth x squared minus 11 over 5 x minus 2 over 5 equals 0. And so here, let's focus our attention on this part right here, the constant term of the equation, negative 2 fifth. So we'll find the uh, possible divisors. So we have possible divisors. So we're going to have the factors of the 2 fifth. That's negative 2 fifth. That will be positive negative 1, positive negative 2, positive negative 1 fifth, and positive negative two-fifth. Now let's focus our attention on the second term coefficient negative four-fifth. So from here we'll be picking three numbers out of the possible divisors. When we multiply them we'll yield a negative two-fifth value and when we add those we're gonna have a value of negative four-fifth out of these possible divisors. So we're going to pick three numbers. So we're going to pick three numbers out of these possible divisors. That would be hard to do. And now I'll show you. Let's find the equivalent of negative four fifth. All right. So that would be one, negative two, and one fifth. And so if we add these up, we'll yield negative four fifth. So that is one minus two. That's negative one plus one-fifth will give us negative four-fifth, right? Since one can be multiplied by five over five. So minus five plus one is minus four. And we have a common divisor or denominator. So we just carry over the five as divisor or denominator. So we ended up negative four-fifth. The other way around, if we multiply all these three numbers, it would yield negative two-fifth. In our case, we multiply one times negative two as negative two times one-fifth. That will yield negative two-fifth. That's what we have over here. And so we have our factors. We have we have three values since uh, cubic equation requires three values, right? We're looking at the exponent of the first term on the left side of the equation. We have three right there. So we have here x, x, and x. And the first is 1, so we just add positive 1. Second is negative 2, just write negative 2. And third one, 1 fifth, so we just write 1 over 5, that's positive, and this factor can be written the same way as just putting the 5 as coefficient on the x right there, so that will be 5x plus 1. So to find the values of x, all we have to do is just consider this right here, we just flip this sign. This positive 1 becomes negative 1, negative 2 will become positive 2, and 1 over 5 and positive will be 
converted to negative. So we have our set of solutions for values of x. So we have positive 1 become negative 1, negative 2 becomes positive 2, or simply 2, and here 5x plus 1 is the same as x plus 1 over 5. So that is negative 1 fifth. So this is our set of our solution values of x. And then how can we be so sure of our answers for the values of x, negative 1, positive 2, and negative 1 fifth? So all we have to do is check our solution, right? Okay, so let's do it. And to check our solution, all we have to do is consider all the values of x, add all of this, and it will be equated to negative v over a from the standard form of the cubic equation. That means going back to our equation, we will be adding up all the values of x, and then it will be equated to negative b over a. And so we have here all the values of x. And those are negative 1, positive 2, and negative 1 fifth. And we have here the formula. All the values of x equated to negative b over a. The coefficient of the second term, that's b, divided by the coefficient of the first term, that's a. So we have negative 1 fifth, or minus 1 fifth, plus 2, then negative 1. And the value of b and a, back to our equation, we have 4 over 5, since b is 4 and a is 5. So this is equal to negative b is negative 4, divided by a, a is 5. So we have here minus 1 plus 2 minus 1 fifth equals negative times negative, they will become positive, so that will be equal to 4 fifth. Simplify the left hand side, we have minus 1 plus 2 is plus 1, minus 1 fifth, 5 times 1 is 5 minus 1 is 4, so this equals to 4 fifth. So equal to 4 over 5. So this confirms that our values of x are all correct. So this is now our final answer. And so that's all for now. Please like and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching. Have a great day everyone. Bye.